The Life and Sad Ending of Shelley Winters. Shelley Winters, born Shelley Shrift, was born August 18, 1920, in St. Louis, Missouri. The daughter of Rose, a singer with the St. Louis Municipal Opera Theater, and Jonas Shrift, a designer of men's clothing. Her parents were Jewish. Her father immigrated from Austria, and her mother was born in St. Louis to Austrian immigrants. Her parents were third cousins. Her family moved to Brooklyn, New York when she was nine years old, and she grew up partly in Queens as well. As a young woman, she worked as a model. At age 16, Winters relocated to Los Angeles, California, later returned to New York to study acting at the New School. Winters made her Broadway debut in The Night Before Christmas, 1941, which had a short run. She had a small part in Rosalinda, an adaptation of Die Fledermaus, which ran from 1942 to 44, and ran for 611 performances. Winters first received acclaim when she joined the cast of Oklahoma as Addo Annie. She received a long-term contract at Columbia and moved to Los Angeles. Winters' first film appearance was an uncredited bit in There's Something About a Soldier, 1943, at Columbia. She had another small bit in What a Woman, 1943, but a bigger part in a B-movie, Sailor's Holiday, 1944. Then, Winters was borrowed by the Producers Releasing Corporation for Knickerbocker Holiday, 1944. Columbia put her small bits in She's a Soldier 2, 1944, Dancing in Manhattan, also 1944, Together Again, again 1944. Winters first achieved stardom with her breakout performance as the victim of insane actor Ronald Coleman in George Cukor's A Double Life, 1947. It was distributed by Universal, which signed Winters to a long-term contract. She had a supporting role in Larceny, 1948. Then, 20th Century Fox borrowed her for Cry of the City. Winters was second billed in Johnny Stool Pigeon, 1949, with Howard Duff, and Take One False Step, 1949, with William Powell. Paramount borrowed her to play Mabel in The Great Gatsby. 1949, with Alan Ladd. Back at Universal, she was in Winchester 73, 1950, opposite James Stewart, a huge hit. Universal gave Winters top billing in South Sea Center, 1950. She co-starred with Joel McRae in Frenchie, also 1950. Winters originally broke into Hollywood films as a blonde bombshell type, but quickly tired of the role's limitations. She claims to have washed off her makeup to audition for the role of Alice Tripp, the factory girl, in A Place in the Sun, directed by George Stephen, now a landmark American film. She attended Charles Lawton's Shakespeare classes and worked at the Actors Studio, both as a student and teacher. She studied in Hollywood Studio Club. In the late 1940s, she shared an apartment with Marilyn Monroe. Her performance in A Place in the Sun, a departure from the sex pot image that her studio, Universal Pictures, was grooming her for at the time, brought Winters her first acclaim, earning her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Next, Winters was top billed in The Raging Tide, 1951, at Universal. She was loaned to 20th Century Fox for Phone Call from a Stranger, 1952, with Betty Davis. At Universal, she did meet Danny Wilson in 1952 with Frank Sinatra and Untamed Frontier, 1952, with Joseph Cotton. She went to MGM for My Man and I, 1952, with Ricardo Montalban. She performed in A Streetcar Named Desire on stage in Los Angeles. Winters took off some time for the birth of her first child. She made her TV debut in Man Trap for the Ford Television Theater in 1954. At MGM, she did Executive Suite and Tennessee Champ, both from 1954, top billed in the latter. Winters returned to Universal to appear in Saskatchewan, 1954, 
Shot on location in Canada with Alan Ladd and Playgirl, 1954, with Barry Sullivan. She appeared in a TV version of Sorry, Wrong Number. Winters returned to Broadway in A Hat Full of Rain, 1955 and 56, opposite Ben Gazzara and future husband Anthony Franciosa. It ran for 398 performances. On TV, she reprised her double life performance in The Alcoa Hour in 1957. She appeared in episodes of The United States Steel Hour, Climax, Wagon Train, Schlitz Playhouse, The DuPont Show of the Month, and Craft Theater. In 1960, she won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as Mrs. Van Dan in George Stevens' film adaptation of The Diary of Anne Frank, 1959. She donated her award statuette to the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. Winters was in much demand as a character actor now, getting good roles in Odds Against Tomorrow, 1959, Let No Man Write My Epitaph, 1960, and The Young Savages, 1961. She received excellent reviews for her performance as the man-hungry Charlotte Hayes in Stanley Kubrick's Lolita, 1962. Winters won another Best Supporting Actress Oscar in A Patch of Blue, 1965. She had supporting roles opposite Michael Caine in Alfie, 1966, and as the fading alcoholic former starlet Faye Estabrook in Harper, 1966. Winters played Ma Parker, the villain in Batman. She returned to the stage to play Minnie Marks, mother of the Marx Brothers in the Broadway musical Minnie's Boys, 1970, which ran for 80 performances. Winters wrote an evening of three one-act plays titled One Night Stands of a Noisy Passenger from 1970 to 1971, which ran for seven performances. The cast included Robert De Niro and Diane Ladd. Then Winters had the lead in two horror films, Whoever Slew Auntie Rue, 1971, and What's the Matter with Helen, 1971, and two movies for TV, Revenge, 1971, and A Death of Innocence, 1971. In The Poseidon Adventure, 1972, she was the ill-fated Belle Rosen, for which she received her final Oscar nomination. She put on weight for the role and never got rid of it. Winters was top billed in The Devil's Daughter, 1973, made for television. In 1980, Winters published the best-selling autobiography, Shelley, also known as Shirley. She followed it up in 1989 with a second memoir, Shelley II, The Middle of My Century. In a recurring role in the 1990s, Winters played the title character's grandmother on the sitcom Roseanne. Her final performances included Touch of a Stranger, 1990, Stepping Out, 1991, with Liza Minnelli. Weep No More, My Lady, 1992, The Pickle, 1993, for Mazursky, and The Silence of the Hams, 1994. In her personal life, Winters was married four times. Her first marriage, Captain Mac Paul Mayer, whom she married on December 29, 1942, in Brooklyn. They divorced in October of 1948. Mayer was unable to deal with Shelley's Hollywood lifestyle and wanted a traditional homemaker for a wife. The second marriage, Vittorio Gassman, whom she married on April 28, 1952 in Juarez, Mexico. They divorced on June 2, 1954. They had one child, Vittoria, born February 14, 1953. Their third marriage... Anthony Franciosa, whom she married on May 4, 1957. They divorced on November 18, 1960. The last marriage to Jerry DeFord started January 13, 2006. Sadly, Winters died at the age of 85 on January 14, 2006, of heart failure at the Rehabilitation Center of Beverly Hills. She had suffered a heart attack on October 14, 2005. She is interred at Hillside Memorial Park Cemetery in Culver City, California.